Welcome, you're watching the News Hour Agenda Special Edition as we get you the big message of the Times Now Sea Voter Opinion Poll. Just a little short of two months later, we will know who is going to form the government in four states and one union territory. Fittingly, these states come from the south, they come from the east, and these are states where non-BJP parties and the BJP have a tough fight in front of them. So what is this first cut of the opinion poll telling us and what is the voter telling all the parties in the fray? Before I tell you that, I want to start by giving our viewers the results, the projected results rather, from the Times Now Sea Voter opinion poll. Let's start with Puducherry, where according to the sea voter projection, it is the NDA which is going to form the government. You have 12 for the UPA, 18 for the NDA, so a clear lead over there, almost like a swapping of the numbers from last time around. Now let's move on to Kerala. Very, very interesting state which alternates between the UDF and LDF, but it seems that Pinarayi Vijayan is going to buck the trend and is losing just about nine seats according to the projection. UDF has gained those seats, but not enough to be able to form the government. Rahul Gandhi, remember, has concentrated his campaigning energies largely on this state from where he's also a member of parliament, but that hasn't really done much. Minor gains still forming the government is a long shot. And Pinray Vijayan gets to make history by remaining in government, something that doesn't happen in Kerala. Moving on to the other very, very important state this time around, that of Assam. In the shadow of the anti-CEA protest, where the Congress is also trying to give a fight by allying with the AIUDF, the NDA is managing to hold on quite comfortably, again, making very minor losses Yes, there are gains by the UPA, but not enough to be able to form the government. However, if you see the projection over here, it is still a close fight. The difference is of just 10 seats. Tamil Nadu. The AIADMK has been called the remote control party of the BJP. It is just a shadow government, a shadow of what the party was when Jay Lalitha was its head and the chief minister. And that seems to be telling on the ground as well. The Lok Sabha results where a resounding mandate was given to the DMK seems to be replicated here as well. Where you have the projected results right here, the NDA has shrunk to 65 from the 136 they held earlier. And the UPA, largely the DMK, has grown from 98 to 158, making a gain of 60 seats. So almost everything that the AIDMK NDA has lost, has gone to the DMK UPA. Now let's move on to the state that practically every political watcher has their eyes on, West Bengal. TMC is likely to hold on to power. Yes, the BJP has made massive gains, has chipped away at Didi's vote bank, but still not enough to form the government. Make no mistake, this is a huge jump. Every time that you say that this is a loss of face for the BJP, also remember where they started five years ago and where they are likely to reach according to this projection. A change of 104 seats. So they have taken away seats from the left, from the TMC, made gains of 104 seats. Didi is sliding down, but just managing to hold on nonetheless a clear comfortable majority of 154 now like i said earlier what are the voters really telling us not